Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, broken claws or nails. The most common thing I see in the veterinary office, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the most common, easily top five, is a broken nail. Dogs running, playing, even on the carpet or outside, either it's a dew claw or it's one of their primary claws, doesn't matter. Broken claws are super common. So, they break their claw, and the doggy cries, and they come to you just, just totally upset about it because it really hurts. Because the quick or the dermis has blood vessels and nerves, and it really hurts if they break their nail. The way I'm going to fix a broken nail is I'm going to give a sedative first. Usually I give a gentle IV sedative so the doggy falls asleep and they're really comfortable. They're just napping. And as they're napping, I'm going to go ahead and I tend to shave and clean the area around the nail and on that toe. Because I don't want any fur to get in my way as I'm trying to figure out how to fix the claw. Sometimes if the nail is really damaged, really close to the actual uh, finger or toe itself, I may do a local block to help numb the toe so it feels even better when the doggy wakes up. My game plan for this is we have a broken claw, it hurts, and it could be infected. So we need to resolve that by trimming the nail proximal or as close as we can. So if this is our, we'll say this is our nail right here, our claw guys. So if it's, if it's broken, we'll say right here, I wanna go proximal or closer to the actual toe. By trimming off the bad claw, all that exposed tissue can no longer hurt or get infected or cause a problem because we all know the doggy's gonna go home and lick it and chew on it, and it's gonna become a nasty claw infection. So we need to remove that bad tissue. And then, once you have it trimmed off, we're gonna use some cautery tools to help seal any blood vessels that are in that dermis or quick in the nail, because there's a lot of blood vessels in there. So yeah, seal them over. We may even put some powder on the claw to help seal it as well. And then, in most cases, we're gonna put a bandage on there too to kinda compress it and help any inflammation or bleeding to be resolved at that point. I tell everyone this, a veterinarian should be the only person that puts a bandage on a dog's leg. I've seen dog legs get infected and even worse, get lost from a bad bandage being too tight. So always have your veterinarian apply a bandage and always double check when they want that bandage off to make sure there's no problems. Now that the bad nail has been removed, your veterinarian is going to prescribe an antibiotic, most likely, to prevent infection, and anti-inflammatory. Now, these are kind of subjective because, well, the, the anti-inflammatory isn't because the, the, it hurts. We, we, got, we got to give him for pain. But the antibiotic may be subjective because if it just happened like half an hour ago and they clipped and cleaned it and it looks beautiful, they may just give meds for inflammation. But if there's any question that's infected, they will do an antibiotic too. The best way to prevent broken nails is keeping your dog's nails as short as possible. There's no perfect way to prevent broken nails. Some dogs have weaker nails. Some dogs just play harder. Some just claw against really hard structures and they break nails. So you may do everything possible and still have a doggy with a broken nail. But by keeping the claw short, you have a better chance of having less broken nails. I hope this was really helpful regarding broken nails and doggies. If you have any questions or your own experiences, please put them below. Thanks guys, have a great week.